this really takes me back. It takes me back about 28 years. This is the, the first time in 28 years I've been back here again, but this is where I used to come to for my holidays. This is Ballantoy Harbour on the Antrim coast. It's far, far deeper than that. It's probably about 20 or 30 foot deep that pool. In fact, it's even deeper further out there. And then I'll dive in, swim across to the rocks, climb up this sort of natural stairway here in the bare feet, back up to the top of the platform and dive in. And that's what I spent the whole day of my summer holidays doing. It'd be sunny then, we used to have much better weather. And my brother would have jumped off this rock and dived in and we would have swum for three times a day. And sometimes at Easter time was the first time we would have swum and it was very cold, very cold at Easter. But um, bearable in the summer, the water's never warm here. It's never, <laughs> never ever warm. With no wetsuits. Now my daughter, who's 17, she'll mm -hmm. swim, but she has to have a wetsuit on to keep her warm. I do remember sitting on the other side of these rocks, down at the end of the harbour, playing a tin whistle, <laughs> and a US submarine coming up and going down along. the old Bush Mills Whiskey Distillery, the oldest whiskey distillery in the world. First granted a license in 1608. It's been brewing whiskey here ever since. It takes its name from the, the stream that it takes the water from to make its whiskey, the River Bush, hence Bush Mills. Anywhere you go in the world, America, Canada, South America, Australia, Japan, if you see a bottle of Bush Mills, out of those gates there. It's the only place in the world that makes it. Not made under license anywhere else. Born and bred in Northern Ireland, exported all over the world, enjoyed throughout the globe. Perfect. Lee's Castle, the North Antrim coast. The home of the kings of Dalriada. The kingdom which consists of part of Northern Ireland and part of Scotland. I think also the original home of the Earls of Antrim uh, before that went to further down the coast of Glenarm. But built over the sea and on one night while they were having a banquet, the kitchens that the banquet was being prepared in fell into the sea. All the kitchen staff and the waiting staff were drowned. So the banquet didn't go very well that night. Musician, you really don't have holidays. You don't have weekends. Most of your gigs, most of your work, uh, or at weekends as well as midweek. So this has been about the first actual day. Thanks to Cheeto. Remember back to childhood holidays on this coast, maybe 20 odd years ago. So thanks, Cheeto, for having a day's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mark Wilson, I'm your cousin.